welcome to the channel and thanks again to all our new subscribers i really appreciate your support today we're just going to have a really quick update on the new thai pass application process if you're coming from our full guide this is just going to show you some of the differences that actually have been updated over the beginning of this month as well as show you what you need to do and download the new application where you need to submit your ATK results on day five if you are staying for more than five days in Thailand. So let's get started. And thanks again. If you want to receive updates like this, please remember to subscribe. So for the new Thai Pass application, you basically need many of the same things. You still need your passport and visa if you need one. You still need to get your certificate of vaccination. And here are the two main changes. Instead of having the first and fifth day hotel reservation, you just need to have a one day stay for your booking reservation. And that's going to be the day that you arrive. And this reservation or confirmation of reservation must include uh, one RT-PCR test. So that's the RT-PCR test that you are going to receive when you arrive. Plus it should also include the uh, ATK test uh, that is paid for, for the one that you are going to submit on day five if you are staying for more than five days. Uh, after this, also the insurance requirements also change. Instead of being a $50,000 insurance, now you only need to have insurance for $20,000 that will cover the, uh, your stay, basically. So if you have all these four documents again, which is your passport and visa if you need one, if you have your certificate of vaccination, and remember you must be vaccinated at least 14 days before arriving, you have your confirmation of your reservation in one of the approved hotels, which is the SHA Plus, all the alternative quarantine, all of that we're going to go over next when we're going through the application. Uh, you're good. And also you need your certificate of insurance, which have, must have a minimum of $20,000. And again, you can do all of this while you're going through the application, or you can do that before. I'm going to provide the links here in the bottom below. So let's get started and let's go ahead and see how we can apply on, on the web. We are here on the Thai Pass website. We're going to select air travel. Next, we're going to start scrolling here and see what are the new updates. It's going to ask you to prepare the documents, same of the ones that we have reviewed before. But we're going to start submitting them here through the website. If you continue going down, you can take a look at what the updates are. This is, of course, in Thai, but we can still go down and you're going to find the same exact version in English. Make sure you review this. This area tells you to watch out for scam emails. So don't submit your information if you see an email like this. Here is the same exact version in English. So you can take a look. These are the required documents that we reviewed, passport, certificate of vaccination, the uh, hotel booking confirmation, and the minimum insurance of $20,000. So after this, we're going to go ahead, just make sure there is nothing else, and we continue from here and go to the next page. So we click on here on the non-Thai English language, and for this side, we're going to select the test and go scheme if you continue going down please make sure that you look again at the documents that you need that we just went over and we are going to check the country so again please make sure that your country is listed here so that you know that you're able to apply uh, we're selecting SHA plus or extra plus or the AQ hotel either or it's going to take us to this website we could select the English version and of course here is where you can book your hotel uh, so that you can get the booking confirmation we're going to go ahead and select next. Here you're complying with the program basically, and you can read this, but it's basically letting you know that you will must comply with this program of the test and go. You go on certify that you agree and then confirm. It's gonna take you to the next screen where you are going to input some basic information about your trip, like your purpose of arrival, what is your country departure. In this case, I'm going to select United States port of arrival or the uh, airport, Subarnabhum airport. And I'm just going to input here some information for so that we can go to the next page and we can see. Here we're going to put the date where we are arriving and we're just going to select March 20th. And in the departure, let's do a couple of weeks, April 3rd. Register. Again, you're here con uh, consenting that they're going to keep your information. Uh, here is where you go ahead and input your information. So I just put in a sample here. Make sure that you put all your correct information. And once you are done uh, completing all this information, like your nationality, date of birth, your email, confirming your email again and what your occupation is, uh, we'll go down 
where you can put your passport information. So we're here in the passport area. Now you can select the type of passport you have, but most likely we're gonna have the ordinary passport. Make sure you put your passport number here and we put in any number. And make sure, of course, that your passport looks just like what they're showing you here. So I'm gonna select the passport, you can see, upload it. It's only that side, not the two pages. Once it's uploaded, let's go to next. This is the vaccine information page where you're going to select the type of vaccine that you received. So in this case, I'm selecting Pfizer. Um, take a look at the information. You have a couple of boxes for those one and those two. I'm selecting just any random date so that we can demonstrate what fields you need to complete. Here you are going to upload your vaccine certificate. This is the regular one that we have here in the United States from the CDC. After it's uploaded, we're going to go into the second box here below, which is going to ask you for exactly the same information. So if you have a different vaccine, make sure you put that vaccine information. Other than that, let's just go ahead and complete the date. Um, and we're gonna select again a random date. After that, if you have a different certificate, make sure that you upload that one. In this case, we have the vaccine information in the same one, so I'm uploading the same. Once all that is completed, make sure that you uh, click below, otherwise it doesn't let you continue. It's gonna, they're gonna keep the records of the vaccine. This page here, it's the one for the uh, reservation booking accommodation for your hotel. And this is a new part here. If you start reading, it tells you that now it's one day and then we must include the RT-PCR and the ATK self-test, as well as the airport transfer. These are the two links that we are just gonna click so that you can take a look. Uh, they are the uh, same ones that we looked at the beginning. It's for the uh, hotel, SHA Plus, as well as the link for the alternative quarantine hotel. Uh, but I'm of course going to, we're gonna go over the SHA Plus hotel. Once we are done booking your hotel, once you're done booking your hotel, we're going to select here the type of hotel that you have, where the hotel is located, and make sure that you include the accommodation name. I'm just putting one here that I have used in the past. Ask you for your booking ID, and that's going to be in your confirmation and the check-in date where you're going to be there. So it just gives you a couple of options. I'm going to select the one, pretty much the one, the date when you arrive. So it's gonna be in this case, March 19th. And you only need to have it for one day now, so it's going to allow you to select one day. If you have the RT-PCR number for certain schemes, you can include it. Otherwise, that's going to be in your reservation confirmation. Let's just show you here how it looks. And there's gonna be an area specifically here where they're going to tell you that you have prepaid for the RT-PCR, the ATK, and the transportation to the hotel from the airport. If you are staying for longer than five days, select this here and you're going to be fine because you already have the ATK. If you're still staying for less than five, that's where you don't need to have the extra ATK for day five. In this area, just ask you for your permanent address outside of Thailand, so make sure you just complete that accurately as well as your emergency contact. Once you have that, let's go to next. This is the information for your insurance, which has now changed to $20,000. There's a link, you can click and you can buy it right from there. And you have a couple of different options here. Again, it tells you $20,000. Here are the options where you can buy them from. Uh, last time I went there, I chose AXA, and it was a pretty simple process. You just pay for the amount of days that you're going to be uh, in Thailand. From here, you just go and you can select the different options that you have. Uh, the most important thing is that you get that certificate of insurance because once you receive that certificate of insurance you're going to go back and make sure that you put your policy number in there you put your policy number that you receive to just here confirming that you're getting the minimum requirements and of course it's got to start on the day that you arrive so make sure that you select the date that you arrive into thailand and upload your certificate of insurance there's a sample once it is uploaded, certify again that it meets the minimum requirements. If you have been to another country within the past 15, 14 days, include that, go next. And just review, make sure that all your information that you have submitted is correct before you press submit. And once you hit submit, then you will receive a confirmation number with which you can track your Pass application. And it should take about three to seven days before you receive your Pass that looks like this. 
Just please make sure you give yourself enough time just in case they have any issues and then it will ask you to resubmit your application. Like for me, it happened to me on day five or six that they asked me to resubmit the application, but once I did that, then I received my Thai Pass without any issues. So there you have it. There's been a couple of major changes to the Thai Pass application. One of them being the hotel booking confirmation only needs to be now for the first day or the day that you arrive. And it must include a prepaid RT-PCR plus one ATK test if you're staying longer than five days for the ATK test. As well as the uh, insurance requirement has reduced from having a $50,000 insurance to a $20,000 insurance requirement just in case you have COVID or you get COVID at the moment that you arrive and this will cover for all your expenses while you stay. There has also been some questions regarding the Morshana app uh, where you need to download it or not. I will download it just in case. This is how it looks. Basically, this is a contact tracing app and you will be able to scan your Thai Pass QR code right from the app and they will let you know whether you've been in contact or not but mainly this could be used for day five after you uh, have your ATK results you can submit a picture of your results via this app sometimes you get a message asking you to submit that but this has been on and off sometimes people have been just receiving an email or a text message from the hotel asking them to submit a picture of the results on day five so that's all we have for the updates today. Thank you for watching again. I really appreciate your support. And please remember to subscribe if you like this video or if you want any more updates or any new upcoming updates as soon as they arrive. I'll try to submit those videos as soon as possible so you're informed on how the Thai application process goes or evolves. Thank you for watching.